what is going on my people you know who it is is the one the only never duplicated solano of peru to my new subscribers welcome to that s to the o fam thank you guys so much for joining me now if you happen to be new to this channel and you like fragrance reviews and know what's popping on the type of day and you just want to know what's hot and what's not and give my point of view on certain fragrances you're in the right spot today we are going to be talking about Paco Rabanne's Invictus uh, perfume. They're coming out with a perfume. Did they come out with an elixir? I don't know. I'm not a really big fan. So yeah, like we're gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking about Invictus perfume by Paco Rabanne. So I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Invictus line. The only one I really, really liked was the 2016 Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua. I remember smelling it, but I didn't really care about it. I could have bought it, but yeah, that's another story. And yeah, let's open this up. Here's the box. Same thing as all the Paco Rabanne boxes. The bottom, throw away. It's for external use only, like they always say. And yeah, let's get on with it. And yeah, let's see if it's good. I got rid of all the other ones I didn't like. And the only one I have is the 2016. And that's the only one I really think that's worth it, in my opinion. But let's get on with it. So the perfume let's see how good this is here's the bottle pretty much it's really different to the original ones i wish i did have the original ones but i don't so you know like i said before i'm not a big fan of the invictus line they just haven't been to appeal to me um 2016 was probably one of the ones that i liked like i said <laughs> so yeah here's the bottle nothing different something different with the golden cap and yeah, it's really different. It's still the same champion bottle from the old age. And you got my uh, my badge code is 33331. That is my badge code. The bottom, boom, 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 right here. And pretty much, yeah. They uh, as I was as I was looking at the box, it does have a new logo. I can't really see it. It's because it's white. It's a new logo. It's the box is the same. Um, the, like I said, the box is the same. Yeah. So waste a couple sprays. Pretty dope atomizer. When you this reminds me a lot of um the Terry Mugler. When you press that button and you can't press it. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. But anyway, let's get on with the small the opening you get this nice soapy, almost bubblegummy vibe. Soapy, really soapy, really clean, some muskiness. You get that lavender right there. I guess I get what they're trying to do. Bubble gummy. Right there, a little bit of bubble gummy. It does remind me of the original Invictus right there off the rip. It's very clean, very aquatic. It gives you that aquatic vibe. Let's try it on skin. See if it's different on mine. Let's wait for it to dry down a little bit. I'm about to do the people's elbow here. But I guess I'll probably start an earthquake. Okay, like I said, in the opening, sweet, that bubble gummy that you get, lavender, and that soapy vibe, those three notes is what you get, bubble gummy, lavender, and that soapy vibe, this is what you get, well, so lavender does give you that soapy vibe, and, but it also gives you a really, really clean soapy vibe, it's starting to dry down a little bit, the dry down is happening, Give me a couple seconds and we'll wait till the dry down. I'll be back. Now, as you were waiting, on the dry down, it does remind me a lot, a lot of that first Invictus Aqua. I mean, the first Invictus Aqua, that first Invictus. That's what it reminds me about. I guess they're not trying too hard, I guess. They're trying to go back to their roots instead of trying to make different for some people that really like this line. I'm not going to say I don't like it. Like I said, it's I'm just on the fence. There's some I like, some I don't but it is nice i think it's going to be a great summer banger i think this is going to be decent right for the summer heat when it's really really hot and you want to wear something that's sweet aquatic soapy clean fresh clean fragrance this will be it. a dumb reach it's nothing out of this world now as it's starting to dry down like i said now it's starting to smell a lot like the first one you still get that soapiness, you still get that lavender, a little bit of that sweetness. The sweetness has toned down. 
and let's go check the notes the first thing we should do and hold up hold up hold up head dip the notes you get marine notes i said it this small marine lavender pink pepper those are the middle those are the top notes middle notes are soap wow they actually you lose soap that's crazy velvet leaf myrtle whatever however you read that cashmere musk and sandalwood Mm -hmm. really nice really clean really clean a little bit little bit spicy i get but that is really the dry down the dry down goes back to the original and bake this i guess that's where they're trying to go back to the roots and a lot of companies should go back to their roots because sometimes they just try to hit the bar that's just my opinion I do think this is going to be a hit for certain people if they like the original Invictus and that's what you're trying to go for. But if you like, you know, the more bubblegummy, the more sweet, the more the more youthful, I do think this one is really youthful as well. If you like that one, I can't stop smelling it. I don't know why, but it is clean. It does remind me of the first one, but I do think you could wear this. I do think this leans a little bit more youthful. I think that's what the Invictus line was trying to appeal to the um, the youth because those are really the um the teens the youth that are getting into fragrances those are the ones that are the demographic that they're trying to deal with and i think the teens and the youth should have their own fragrance line so they could you know trans transition into fragrances and start off and i think this is a great start off fragrance but it does, i personally think fragrance has no age range i think you should wear whatever you want but if you want me to say occasions, I think occasions you could wear this dressed up, dressed down, white parties, white t-shirt part, white dress parties, all that stuff, high heat, out when you're out and about in the beach. This could be a decent beach scent because it's fresh, clean, it's nothing out of this world, soapy like you just step out the shower. It does remind me of soap. I don't know what kind of soap could I do. A little bit of uh, the, green, the green bar, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Irish Spring, it reminds me a lot of that. The lavender, the soap is dominant. Not so spicy, but a little bit musky. Cashmere is here. And that's pretty much it, my take on the fragrance. I don't really want to say this more. It's a first impression. Um, I'll come back to it. If you guys want me to review it, leave me down in the comment. Let me know which one is your favorite from the Invictus line. And the price range on this, let me go check you guys out the price range. Because I know some of you guys want to know the price range. And let me give you the whole detail. And the price range on this one, the 3.4, is 119 119 And if you're looking, well, if you buy one, buy together. If you want two, you guys, it comes out to 212 uh, macy's but if you want a bigger one is 185 so 185 and to me to tell you the truth i don't think right now is the time to buy this one at macy's i think you guys should wait a little bit till it hits on the great market which i'm sure is probably going to be soon because designers don't stay that long in the thing it's really soapy really 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 soapy as the dry down it does lean if okay the best way i can picture it now that it's drawn dry down more the best way i could picture this and describe this to you picture that way the best way you could picture it and i could describe it to you would be um imagine the original with some soap in it and lavender and a little bit of spiciness with that musk that's what you will get the original with all those notes right there combined that's what this one is it does go into the first invictus and then it gets soapy it goes transitions into those it's like they're playing ping pong with that picture that playing ping pong back and forth the first one then soapy that's how it goes right now in my skin it's ping pong and back to that so like i said that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i will definitely see you next time and if i don't you know but as always, wear what you want, buy what you want, and I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's probably because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace, I'm out of here. You know who it is. If you didn't say it, think a king of this bitch.